What's up YouTube, Tandon 2 ss back again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what to do when Ozempic inevitably stops working. What you should look out for, the next steps you should take, and how to proceed once that, if it happens to you. Uh, but before we jump in the video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos. And with that, let's jump right in. Okay, so I get a lot of comments where people ask like, uh, you know, I'm taking a Zempic, it's not working for me, and what should I do next? The majority of those people are usually on the triation uh, dosages, which is uh, 0.25 or 0.5. Uh, if you are on those dosages, just wait it out. Wait till you get to one milligram before making any real determination uh, about the medication. Not Some people just don't see results at those dosages, right? You want to work your way up uh, until at least one milligram uh, until you start experiencing um, the benefits of the medication. Now, with that said, if you are on one milligram and you have had success with either weight loss or blood sugar, and now you find that your results are starting to taper off, uh, don't panic. So over the past couple weeks, that is what has happened to me. Uh, the first week I took my shot, um, I didn't experience any of the benefits of the medication as far as suppressing hunger. Uh, I was didn't feel any side effects whatsoever. So I was like, okay, did I even take my shot correctly this week? <laughs> which is funny. I totally did. Um, put it in the same location that I normally use, which is my belly. Um, I have found that when I do it with my thigh, I don't get the benefits that I usually get when I do it in my stomach. So I always go... Uh, to my stomach as far as uh, injection site. So with that said, uh, yeah, so that first week I didn't, I didn't, well, two weeks ago, I didn't experience uh, any of the benefits of the medication. I didn't feel like it was working. So I took the shot again uh, last week and same thing, same ordeal. Um, increased appetite. Uh, I don't experience any side effects. I can eat normally uh, and my blood sugar levels have slightly risen. So I reached out to my doctor and he told me that it is time to move up to 1.5 milligrams. And with that bump in uh, dosage, uh, I'm probably going to experience side effects all over again. Uh, and it seems like my body has just become used to the medication. And that's what happens. So number one, what you want to look for is, uh, you know, some people are on the medication just for weight loss and some people are on the medication for um, to decrease your blood sugar levels. Um, so again, if you are feeling like you're not receiving the benefits of the medication, number one, check your blood sugar. That is going to tell you if uh, the medication isn't working as, as efficiently as it once has. And when you pair that with uh, increased hunger and not having the hunger suppression that uh, the medication is known for, uh, I knew that was it was time to to talk to my doctor about uh, moving up in, in terms of the dosage. So um, that's what's going on right now. Uh, that's what's happening for me. Again, make sure you talk to your doctor about this. You can go up. I know people who are taking two milligrams uh, per week. So it's all about uh, continuing to increase that dosage and continuing to experience the benefits of the medication. And again, the medication isn't all about weight loss. The most important thing here is blood sugar. The blood sugar is what is dangerous if it is at a high level over a long period of time. That is what causes uh, all of the uh, like heart problems and uh, you know circulation problems. Though that's what is most important, and that's what's to be afraid of. If you just find that you're not losing weight, uh, but your blood sugar is good, you're, you're probably fine. Like you, you know, you know it, the weight loss is just a side effect of the medication. It's not the main uh, goal of the medication. So. Uh, again, you have to check your priorities and, uh, you know, talk to your doctor. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks, guys, for checking out the video. If it was beneficial for you, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.